another bad review as you might be guessing but this is a different review because this game I've never played before in my life and this is a request from um, a guy called Neil on a Facebook page called the 8-bit gaming crew so this is a request so we're gonna do this I've never played this in before in my life but it, it, I've heard this is meant to be a load of crap but this is the, based on the classic cartoon Count Duckler was a spin-off from was a spin-off from Danger Mouse Crossgrove all did the cartoons and there's the game my first impressions oh dear oh a load of crap it is absolutely right good I don't know what the object of the game is so I've never played it before this is actually my first go of the games I'm actually using a joystick to move the character around oh I just died how many lives bloody you I don't know how many lives you get don't say it anywhere lives oh so 17 lives you know, presume you get 20 lives I think or every time you get hit that goes down and my impression of the game the way it moves the jerkiness of the graphics it's really poor it is really bad it's it just slow What's he doing there? Looks like he's bumming the ground. Uh, got a way for them platforms to move by the looks of it, so you can jump onto them and you've know, got a way for that disappearing, you get hurt, and I think you lose a life and it moves along very slowly. Wait for the platform to go down, oh dear, oh it's come back. Well you can move you can move him in, in mid-flight, so wait for the block to go. Oh you just fall off. Well, that's a bit stupid, isn't it? Yeah, that, that is a bit pathetic. I think who programmed alternative software? Hmm. I've had a few games of them before. Some of them ain't been too bad, but this this is really shit. I'm sorry to say that this is could be better. I've not played the first one. Count Dracula, so I don't know what that that is like. Oh, we move to the next level now, so good news, oh we can fire, whatever that is, a very slow moving gun, oh dear, I've fallen off. So I suppose we've got to wait till the blocks those come closer so we can jump onto them and get to the bottom level, bottom place so, so you can't fill through the gaps because you get killed. Um it is a pretty bad game. First time I played this game, yeah. You're right, Neil, it's a crap game. <laughs> Not a lot to say about this, apart from it's a load of crap. Uh, it's still waiting for the block to. Oh, what's happened here? I don't know what I've done, but I'm being airlifted across. It looks like I'm going to hit the wall. No, it goes through the wall. So I might have gone to the next level. Yes, I have. I don't know how I've done that. Oh, it is a terrible game. It is a terrible game. I don't know how. It's just too slow. It's just graphics are shit. Colours are awful. I'm glad I didn't buy this game. I've only played it a couple of times. I don't know how much. It's probably a budget, yeah, alternative software made. Budget software. But this is terrible budget software. They must have got the license to make this game. Oh, I'm presuming they made the first game and all. This is terrible. I don't know what the object of the game is. I, I ain't looked into it. I ain't, I ain't even gonna bother looking into it. This game shit. So I'm presuming I'm trying to jump, get to the other side. Oh no, didn't make it that time. Three lives left. Oh, it's horrendous. The graphics keep breaking up. Whoever coded this, a shit, a shit coders. You can't. It's terrible. It's just hardly moving. Uh, not. Oh. Are we going to make it? 
cross. Oh, we've just been killed. Game over. Thank God for that. Well, that was a shit game, that was. I'm not going to play that again. Well, that's the end of this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, goodbye.